I'm Noma Kumalo, writer and director of Five Tiger. I'm a patriotic, proud Zulu woman and a feminist. Hi there, my name is Brett Michael Linus from Johannesburg, South Africa, and I am the producer and editor of Five Tiger. I'd say one of my greatest influences has to be David Fincher. I really love how mathematical and mechanical his work is, and I'd always envisioned myself trying to do something similar, especially in our context and in our world that's always quite sunny and warm with rolling hills, you know, as to what that would look like. Johannesburg represents the polarization between tradition and modernity. And you find that within Johannesburg, I mean, even though it's a city, these pockets and spaces are not homogenous. So within there, it's almost like a, a very concentrated uh, representation of South Africa as a whole. So even though we are from Johannesburg and the stories we tell, you know, are centered in Johannesburg, you find that a lot of characters have to grapple with the polarization of either being being modern or being traditional and, and being from these urban spaces and more rural spaces. So it's always a negotiation between the two. Five Tiger is set in South Africa in the present day, and it tells the story of Fiona, a God-fearing woman who enters into a transactional relationship with her church leader so that she can support her sick husband and young child. I was working on a telenovela on the outskirts of Johannesburg when I encountered a group of prostitutes. They had been painted as these horrible woman who had decided to do this terrible thing in order to support either an alcohol habit or a drug habit and I knew there had to be more to the picture. So when I spoke to her, every second thing she spoke about was about how God would bless her and you know her trying to do the right thing for her children. She was a mother, she was a wife, but most importantly she was the breadwinner. And I thought to myself, you know, looking at the context of our culture as well as uh, you know in Christianity, which was the dominant religion from Johannesburg and South Africa. The notion of good and bad women prevents us from really looking at characters like the woman I met with an empathetic eye. It was very interesting to see how this woman's own convictions led to her own detriment. Themes that definitely I've had in my previous films and what we, we found in Five Tiger is that of female narratives. Um, the idea of giving voices to female characters with complexity to not reduce them to the um, surface level approach that often um, these characters are given. And we just love finding those shades of grey between very polarizing opinions or thoughts or, or themes to, to find characters who you would perhaps hate and to leave the audience loving them at the end and vice versa. Stylistically, something that I love and that Norma has, I felt, done really well in this is just giving characters the opportunity to breathe and to be on screen, to not rely on dialogue to communicate themes, but rather looks between people, find those glances between the characters that communicated a world, asked more questions than gave certainty. Five Tigers relevant because it serves as a reminder that in our societies, even though there's a lot of talk about the progression of women, especially people from marginalized communities, there are some people who get left behind in these conversations. People whose class, culture, cultural standing, uh, religion, um, and social uh, status doesn't allow them to have a seat at the culture-making table. We need to remember that man makes culture. Culture does not make man. So man can change culture.